Howdy, howdy, everybody. Uh, howdy, humans. It's me. Back again. My unpopular demand. Or popular. I don't know. Many days it is hard to tell, but I hope y'all are having a good... Oh, excuse me. I literally, I literally sped ran, um, chugging a, uh, Diet Pepsi <laughs> before, before stream, like, started, started. So, uh, yeah, um, in, enjoy, enjoy that information, hold up, just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do, do some things, and I want to have nice things happening. So there we go. All right, that should take care of that for <laughs> for later. But for right now, uh, hope y'all are doing good. <clears throat> I I apologize for having to delay stream. Um, life stuff was happening. So I think I talked about this. My car was having overheating issues. So I went with my uh. So uh, my mom's came up and um. They tried to help and fix it themselves, but it didn't really work out. I was trying to learn as much as I can because I hate being fucking useless on car shit. But, but, uh, didn't work out, so we just took it to a car guy back home. And I switched cars with them. Uh, I took my older car that I had a lot of issues as well, which is the reason I have my current car. But it was all fixed up, so just went ahead and took care of that. And... Um, I was driving that for a bit, and today was the day we were switching, uh, cars over, and I, uh, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's not much more to that story. We switched the cars, I had to meet them, like, halfway somewhere, I didn't have to drive all the way out and meet them, but I'm starting to wonder if it might have been, uh, more time effective for me to do so, but, oh, well, it is what it is. Um, however... I do have I I did have an interesting drive because I'm not gonna say where I went for obvious reasons, but um it was a weird ass fucking place, dude. Like literally, like it was one of the most like foreign <laughs> places I had seen in my state, and just um oh, hold on that ah, contact is acting up, and this contact was acting up earlier. Fuck, hold on. I can't avoid scuff. Not even in real life. Blech. Are you dead? Are you done? I think it's good. Alright, there we go. <laughs> um, but dude, I saw like so much weird shit on my drive to where I went. Because there was like... I saw a cowboy crossing sign. Like, like, literally, a cowboy crossing sign. I had never seen that before in my life. I didn't know that was a thing. I know there are some weird crossing signs out there, but I, I didn't expect cowboy crossing. This is also on, like, a... Uh, this is also on, like, a stretch of land that didn't have a very, like, um... It didn't have, like, a very long... It wasn't very long in the grand scheme of things. Uh... But it had a lower speed limit than uh, what I was doing on the interstate. And... Like, literally... Um, <laughs> uh, I... Like, that in single stretch. Which was, like, less than a reasonable distance. Was, like, 20 minutes of my whole trip. <laughs> Like literally, it was like a it was like a a one to three ratio, but the speed limit was just so shit that it took fucking ages to like actually get past it. <laughs> so yeah, my day's been interesting. Oh yeah, and some guy also fell down in a store where I was. <laughs> a guy like he had mu he he said he had muscular dystrophy, and he like literally just collapsed onto the floor. And like I was just walking out the store, and I was just like. Dude, are you okay? And like me and like three other guys just helped him up and like helped him get outside. <laughs> yeah, he was he was grateful though. But yeah, um, I've had an interesting day today. Anyways, 
Now that the story's over, hi CC and hi Mil Mil. Hope y'all are having a good day today. <laughs> Forgot where we left off. Was it with Samus? Um, I did play a little bit on my own time. Um, and I did beat the first boss. And that's as far as I've gotten in the game itself. I haven't had a chance to play since then. But I decided to take that chance now because I have been wanting to play this game again. Like, I, I am actually having a good time with it. It's just, you know, I'm a busy guy. <laughs> I, mean, I also had Undertale Yellow Brain Rot. I still have Undertale Yellow Brain Rot, so yeah. <laughs> you like Aria? I need to remember who Aria is. <laughs> It's a, it's the it's the mystery girl, right? <laughs> Unironically, I remember so little right now outside of I beat the first boss. Red hair chick. Okay, yeah, she's she's nice so far. I'm not sure. I don't think I have a favorite character yet. I'm still pretty early in the game, all things considered. Mm. Yeah, I was busy too. Not much time for SMT or Morrowind. Uh, dude, I can't even think. I can't even think of playing like an Elder Scrolls game right now. <laughs> I could never think of playing Skyrim at the moment, <laughs> or well, Cyberpunk. Eh, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk as a concept just hasn't appealed to me that much. I'll be real. Like I've never been one for the high tech kind of things. Like fucking, fucking. Look at me. I'm like this primal fucking beast of nature. Like th this is more my alley. Kinda. That medieval shit. I guess this does kind of apply to medieval shit. I am a fucking dragon. And like, I'm not opposed to sci-fi. Like, I, I, I like sci-fi. I'm just not like a big, like, sci-fi high-tech kind of guy, you know? You're caveman core. <laughs> Welcome in, circuit. Hope you're having a good day. Also, cheese demon. That's still one of my favorite things I've been called. <laughs> cheese demon. <laughs> Mila's sister has interesting opinions. Opinions that are quite funny. Ever, ever, I'm just assuming everyone in Mila's family is funny. <laughs> it would make sense of a track. <laughs> I think it's a pretty neat RPG shooter. Oh yeah, I'm not saying anything about the game, but like, setting means so much to me in a game, I've realized. Like, if the setting of a game just does not appeal to me, even if the gameplay is phenomenal, I just won't be able to get into it, no matter how hard I try. If Tech Rise can handle his Fallout, dude, I couldn't get into Fallout either. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. I played Fallout 3 and I got bored within like 30 minutes. <laughs> I am playing Harvestella when you play it too. Does Harvestella have multiplayer? I've actually not looked into that. <laughs> uh, I should probably start that up. I've kind of just been sitting here rambling for uh, almost eight minutes. Almost nine minutes. We've hit that. We broke eight minutes. We've already went ahead and done that. <laughs> no, sadly, but mods probably exist for it. Unfortunately, we bought it on Switch for me because that was what I preferred. So I've dug my own grave. Let's go visit my grave. Let's go take care of that. Ah, yes, my grave. And my grave doesn't have music. So let's fix that. <laughs> there we go. Just had it booted up on the title screen. Time to figure out what the fuck I was doing. Because I do not remember. At all. Caveman. A caveman core. <laughs> I hate how accurate that is. But also at the same time. Like. You, you say like. Oh caveman core. But also. Like some. I had one version of Rise without the sleeves. I had one version of him without the sleeves. And. I thought, like, he looked too much like a caveman, so I made it a robe. <laughs> Rice farming his way into our hearts. Well, Vriska can handle Borderlands, but she works in tech. True. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> mm. I don't need to farm my way in anyone's heart. I'm just already there. My hand in your heart. I shoved it through your chest. You're now bleeding out. Um... Is time passing in the town? I don't think it does. If it does, I'm fucked. <laughs> Put simply, I'm fucked. Gotcha! You'll never win at Catch the Conalu. Shut up, Van. You're a car. Yes, it does. Well, fuck. <laughs> oh, you always catch up to me so fast. I want to play hide and seek next. There's no way you can beat me at that. Stick to the vent channel. 
I forgot the names of all these kids. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, I have to get home. Oh, come on. But we've only played one game. I know, I'm not sorry. I'll see you both tomorrow. If I could just make the sound effects of a van, I'd just do that for van. It's with her lately. It's not even dark out yet. I wanted to play hide and seek. It is I, the twink. Uh, let's see here. Did Milika head home already? She did this yesterday too, and the day before that, and the day before that, and the day before that. We don't think she likes us very much. <laughs> is I invading your personal space? Please. Do. I'm star- I'm starved for the presence of other people. Help. <laughs> uh, maybe she has chores? Tell me should join soldier. Just playing games too much. She, <laughs> I don't think she's the one to like help out her family. She loves playing games too much. She's kind of a lazy bitch. <laughs> uh, must be a reason. Hey Van, do you think that maybe Milika's just super mad at us? What's gotten into you? Why would she? <laughs> You know, I think you might be right. They're so terrified of it. Uh, and what are you going to do about it? <laughs> no idea. Nothing. <laughs> well, we'll let the friendship break apart. <laughs> vent dies and Van thinks he's Vent. Uh, what if Van got hit by a van? But being such a weenie, we've got to be willing to put the work in the work and find out. This calls for Operation Super Sorry. <laughs> don't you think that? <laughs> I don't know, man. Don't you think apologizing is a bit extreme? Don't you think that's going a little far? Just like awkwardly keep your distance and just hope things work out until you eventually drift away and never talk to each other again. <laughs> I'm going to say it just to see what happens. Easy for you to say, Rice. You've never seen Milika when she's angry. And now you're in on it, too. That's right. You know the code name. Welcome to the Shared Destiny Core. Okay, time to strategize. So, uh, what do you guys think we should do? <laughs> I accidentally read the first thing as something very different, and I'm not gonna say what it is. <laughs> Mill when she's angry is right here. <laughs> to the to Milla being angry. To Mill to the Mill Mill being angry. If I can actually fucking go to my emotes, thank you. Or not? Can I not use my emotes in OBS? Hello? I cannot use my emotes in OBS. <laughs> I can't use my fucking emotes in OBS. Ain't that, ain't that something? OBS has a chat. It has a chat, um, doc you can have, and I use it. I'm using one monitor right now, so, uh, that's my choice. Uh, anyway, um, my, my response to Angry Mill Mill is just FUMO. You should be able to. It's not letting me. That's it. <laughs> Are you nuts? My dad apologizes to mom all the time, but it never works. So, Van, um... Do you know what custody is? <laughs> so you think saying sorry will magically make everything better? It sounds like something Milika would say. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'll fix that. I'll fix that circuit. <laughs> uh, I always forget to do this. Okay, hold on. What the fuck was the FUMO button? I think it was eight. Yeah, I got it first try. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let me try giving her something nice instead. Sure, all right. Let's give her a gift. Every time, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look, it's not my fault that VTS Pog wants to fucking connect the VTube studio and it won't take no for an answer. I will not be... Ah. <laughs> I had a joke and I thought it was a bad joke, so I stopped saying it. 
Njord's step. If, if we ain't coming back until we find some Milika we'll like. We'll see you there. Milika's secret. Coming to a mall near you. That time Victoria got some competition. Let me look at let me look at the fucking story. Alright, it's heads to the sea's light. He suspects it's responsible in order to put a stop to the disaster unfolding across the land. That tells me nothing. Investigate all the seas light and lathe. Quests. Memo. Fallen dolls found in a variety of places. So maybe something good will happen if you collect them. Modus Magikite from Dianthus gives you a gentle glow. Ho. Give her a flower crown so she can be the flower princess. I think you overestimate my abilities there, Cece. Oh, Arya's in my party, I didn't realize. Fuck, man, I remember nothing. Assault Savant. Science is the fruit of human wisdom. Flit around the battlefield with ease to make the most of finite energy in space. Low-key, I forgot. I forgot the... <laughs> Hold on, I, I literally forgot how to switch my class in the middle of the game. So I have to ask, because I don't think this was around when you first played the game, what is this game? <laughs> um, it's farm it, it's a farm sim, but you, uh, it, it, it's also like a JRPG. So it's a farm sim JRPG. <laughs> you know, that I, I literally ju I just said it, so I don't know why I said it twice. That's the, that's the bulk of it uh boss special break gauge stats and moralities target locking beware of fear oh that stuff gotcha i forgot how to switch class please help assault savant job points Target locking. Are you sure you change classes? You, you do it like... You do it when you're... Um, you do it when you're traveling throughout the world, but I've completely forgotten how to do it. Maybe I'll figure it out later. Hello there. You do it by the green. Oh, I do it at the green points. Okay. That explains everything. I'm afraid we don't sell anything like that here. I see that is quite a shame. I was sure I would be able to find one if I came here. But all is not lost. I was able to find something even better by coming here. Really? We have something that rare? Indeed. You don't often find ladies graced with beauty such as yours in any old village. Why, I... <laughs> Police! <laughs> What's this? Excuse me. Oh, -ho, you do have quite an interesting scent. Please get away from me right now. <laughs> Please get away from me right now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell do you get off? By <laughs> judging by right now, right in front of me. <laughs> uh, activate them. There are some in the town. A, a monolite. An aristocrat. He just like me for real, for real. Do not sniff me, CC. I will hit you. <laughs> Hands wearing a carpet. Carpets can be comfy. <laughs> Where the hell do you get off? Apologies, I was just curious. You have a peculiar air about you. It smells of peaches. I see you're a fan of Swab. A cheap but effective hair care product. Tastes like peaches too. <laughs> his pants are incredibly high. <laughs> Bro, his pants are high and it and he low-key man he kinda caked up in the thighs. <laughs> Granted, I think that's every male character in this game. <laughs> uh, you came all the way from Shatola, right? That's right. It looks like you don't have the mechanism I need after all. So, as someone from Shatola, 
Shut the fuck up. Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I should introduce myself. The name is Hein. I tend to inhabit the Chateaula Atelier. You can find the Chateaula south of here. It's quite a peaceful little port town. Or rather, it was. It's grown busier since that event with the Seas Light and Lorelei's appearance. Anyway, it looks like I'm done here. Do stop by the Atelier if you find yourself in Chateaula, won't you? <laughs> priority guide. Press A when selecting stories and quests from the menu diary to prioritize and display the guide. Okay, so... I think I need to go here? I think? Question mark? I too am near a port town. Shit, he's near water. It could be anything from a s ocean to a sink. I'm sorry for being such a bother. <laughs> yes, yes, best boy, best boy. <laughs> we found Mill's favorite. Gotcha. It's no problem at all. I must say I was surprised considering I'd just given Eastina some medicine for Nemia Town too. Don't tell me there's something going around at the orphanage. No, no, it's nothing like that. <laughs> Rex, oh my fucking god! <laughs> he literally looks like... He low-key looks like Rex. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> now, I, now I need to give him... Now I need to give him the accent. Ah, welcome. Would you give me a moment? I'm just dealing with another client. Thank you for wait... Man, alright. Uh, Rex, Rex. Um... Part one of the Savages Code. Um, don't forget how to do an accent. Like, I feel like I'm coming on too strong with the accent. <laughs> uh, fuck. It's been so long since I've actually heard Rex's uh, voice. Yeah, uh, fuck it. We're just gonna roll with it. Bad or not. Are you from Leith Village? This is Rice. He lives nearby, but he's seen his fair share of trouble. <laughs> this character actually has an accent, which is funny. <laughs> Likewise, my name is Asiel. Came all the way from Nemia Town. That's because they're using the doctor that is skilled as you, Dr. Chris. <laughs> Fuck, man. I, <laughs> I, I can't do Rex, apparently. <laughs> uh, uh, I love you and all you guys. My voice just isn't in the range for it, I feel. Best boy deserves all the head pats. <laughs> Bill's out here fangirling. Oh, that's right, you must not know. You flunked in geography, didn't you? Nemia is east of here, sitting pretty close to the spring sea's light. This is just what I'm doing at this point. I don't fucking care. <laughs> it's a beautiful town filled with cherry blossoms. I definitely recommend going sometime. Oh, skip my dialogue like a fucking idiot. Why don't you? But actually, it might not be the best time for sightseeing. Did something happen? So we got Rex getting something from Tai Takami. <laughs> Aye, we've been having some trouble. We've been seeing some strange occurrences ever since the siege light was acting up not long ago. It caused a few injuries amongst those who were investigating the egg. You're investigating an egg? Aye! We really like our omelets. So this strange structure called the Heaven's Egg appeared next to the Sea's Light, and I would have sensed then. A door opened. Hey, Cress, I brought you the ingredients you asked for. I don't know why, but this guy reminds me of... Low-key reminds me of Cyril from Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I don't know why. Just off his look. I've completely forgotten how he actually acts as a character. Just gonna mix these and... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> All done. Your medicine is ready, Asiel. Thank you so much. In that case, I better be heading off, Dr. Grace, Mr. Dim, and her eyes. I hope we can meet again soon. Bro, I'm, his accent's changing like every five seconds when I do it. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna give him a different accent every time I see him. I finished thinking of the Lauren Arc of an OC I might never use. Ain't that a fucking mood? Mr. Dim? What's a heaven's egg? Did he pique your interest? Anything to do with the seas light, huh? You need to meddle in other people's business and other parallel. Okay, he's a smart ass. That's why he reminds me of Cyril. Fucked him. I'll go stick your nose in your trolls, then that's on you. You want to fix it, right? I wouldn't say that. You can find Nemia town to the east of Lake beyond the Njord step. Tell us, see I said hello if you decide to go. Look, it's not the only character in the game I simp for, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still looking for my sim target. I've been trying. Why are there blue dots here? Oh, it's a transition. Hi, I'm invading your privacy. Damn. Your privacy sucks. <laughs> You're so boring, there's nothing I can gossip about. Where are all the girlfriends at the lunch table gonna chew on now? If I don't have tea to spill. Bonkin, maybe you'll find one in another town like that port town. If they if they all act like a fucking Heine or whatever the fuck his name was. <laughs> I'm calling him Heine. That's his name now. It's interpretation. It ended with an E. Alright. And then there's this thing over this way. Going this way. I can't jump over a fence. This game sucks. Oh, this was story progression. Oh. <laughs> yeah, on the lookout for adopted noble girls or reluctant business heiresses. <laughs> this is a giant monolite, isn't it? I bet this has something to do with what's been going on lately. Eh. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> She's Ait. <laughs> oh, do you live in this village? My name's Sh my name's Shrika. <laughs> I'm about to burst your fucking eardrums. <laughs> Veer man, I'm a missionary from the Seas Light Order. Seas Light has been acting strange recently, hasn't it? I'm looking into it now. I actually came to this village just before that happened because I heard a meteor landed here. I wanted to see it. You see, I'm very into astrology. <laughs> Ever heard of a planet called Jupiter? It's actually pretty easy to see Jupiter right now. I've learned that in my astronomy class recently. Like, you could go out and maybe see Jupiter. Just gotta know where to look. I think it's close to the moon right now. So, yeah, if you don't have a bunch of light pollution, go ahead. <laughs> uh, there was a girl inside. It gave birth. Inside? Oh, very funny. I see you're pulling my leg, aren't you? It's rather bold of you to tease a missionary. <laughs> That is, like, one word away from being incredibly dirty. <laughs> uh, how come you know so much anyway? You're not just a plain old villager, aren't you? It gave birth, I hate it. <laughs> uh, don't you love being friends with me, Mila? Does it make you happy? Don't I, don't, don't I just bring nothing but joy to every waking moment of your life? See, so you're not a villager. You're a traveler. <laughs> a reluctant traveler. Jupiter Optimus Maximus? Nah, I can't see him. Yes, you make me happy, but that bird joke made me cringe. And this is going to be the part where Mila stops coming to my streams. <laughs> Already? Well, alright. I figured a few things out anyways. <laughs> See you later, Traveler. I'll be in the holy capital of the West, so come visit me if you're in the area. Although you're investigating the seas, right, so I'm sure we'll run into each other again. 
You're wondering why? It's pretty obvious why. It's because the Winter Seaside is the holy capital of Argeen. Remember the unicorn? I'm genuinely trying to remember a unicorn. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, you mean the game? <laughs> I thought you were talking about some like fucking like cringe joke <laughs> that I made at some point or you made involving a unicorn and you were try about to like get back at me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember the unicorn. He was a character. I only remember the TV show when I hear the unicorn. <laughs> when I hear the unicorn, after my brain skips My Little Pony, I think about, uh... I think about that movie called The Last Unicorn and how I'm supposed to, uh... And how it's, like, really good. You must come and talk to me when you're going to investigate the seas light, okay? All right, turn that on. You activate the Northern Village Square Modus Monolite. Let's do a save. All right. Um. I think that's everything to do around here. He's a waifu, by the way. <laughs> Wait, what? You can. <laughs> So the feral community took a W in this game. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Good for them, I suppose. General store. Also, Millie, you said that I could um, change my class at the uh, green orbs, but just lets me select my destination and save. Okay, fucking... Have I even watered my plants today? <sighs> I do not remember. Oh, yeah, I have the dash right there. Um... Do I have oh, any... Pretty good wing exercise. Do I have any seeds? I forgot if I had seeds. Not in here. What about in here? No. Do have two of these though, and I don't know what they do. God, I haven't played this game in fucking weeks, dude. Go into your menu, buy the orbs. Age, Electro Increase, Break Age, Fill Rate, Blaze, Crescent Slash. Do I have any job points right now? Go to Party. Oh! That was how I did it. And I'll put that there. Thank you, Mill Mill. I still can't find the button. Like, I know you, you access a menu, but I have completely forgotten what button to press for that. I'll just figure it out later. It'll be fine. Let me go to the general store and buy seeds. I need seeds. Fuck. The fast travel only works in the locations themselves. This is so sad. The fact you're playing this makes me happy. <laughs> I'm glad it is, and I am enjoying it. I just can't remember what the fuck I was doing with my life. I need to hurry. Oh shit, I have no food in my stomach. And we'll be fine. Everything will be fine. What's a little starving gonna do? Nothing. Uh, just eat yourself, stomach. 
I'll be good enough. Everything will be fine. <laughs> no, save the food for when your health is low? Really? So I don't have... So... Should I never have my stomach... I should have my stomach fall like a little bit. And then save it for it? Or is that wrong too? Okay, give me give me seed. I have 1,135 gorillas. This is for fucking Harambe. Let me actually get fishing knowledge. Save food for when you can restore both, I guess. Uh, hair ops are nice because you can harvest them immediately. Stomach only matters for when you're fighting stuff and eat to restore health and energy. Gotcha. Get the marginal utility per price rise. <laughs> Fishing takes time. Reel and fish by pressing aim when the float. Sings deep on the surface of the water with a splash. Alright, so we can fish and we can go make some carrots real quick. Gaming. I still need to uh, upgrade my uh, kitchen. That's the renovator. Repair your kitchen counter. Ah, uh, yes. It's very clearly broken. A completely unusable cooking is just impossible with that setup. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with a cutting board? Or a fucking any of this? Completely useless. Totally didn't cover that in class just two hours ago. I've just been learning about. I think the last thing I learned about in my econ class was, um. Trying to remember. Today, it was the impact of lowered tariffs in India and how places that didn't have, um, like, um, very good, like, labor mobility or, like, really, like, rigid, like, labor laws and shit, um, how they wound up being, like, hurt more by the tariffs because they weren't, like, able to adapt as much as the urban areas or areas with uh that had lower tariffs to begin with like it was like it, like it was like a prepared thing because like they were used to the protectionism so they couldn't like adapt when the tariffs got lowered because india was asking for stuff from like the world bank and the imf international monetary yeah the imf mm. so yeah that was what i learned about today oh wait it's india yeah it's india so, like, the poor areas actually wound up get it, getting more hurt by the tariffs, but the urban areas did good. Because they were, like, better suited for, like, that kind of, like, change in, like, labor and getting rid of an unproductive industry. Casts are ass, yeah. <laughs> Ignore the fact I played Great Tal Moody during Year of the Dragon. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna figure out how to, um... The guy sent you also talks about it. Yeah, I read over it before stream. I was gonna say something later. CR. You fucking fool. Um. I am trying to remember how to equip the seeds. Holy fuck, I am useless. <laughs> A. Wait, head through the cave in the southwest to the holy capital of Arjun. Can't stop thinking about that visual novel. Forgot which one. I have genuinely forgotten how to equip the seeds. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I pressed every button. L, R. I can pick my tool.
Oh dear. Local farmer forgets how to farm overnight. It wasn't overnight. It was fucking weeks because I had Undertale Yellow Brain rot. <laughs> Just use arrows. BRB. I'm gonna go in the corner of shame for a few seconds. I'll be back. Fuck you with that mental health check. <laughs> Man straight up saying I failed so hard I need to fucking check my mental health. <laughs> uh but I will I will I will commit. I will commit to it. Look at Chibirobo and tell me I'm wrong. I can't. I can't look at Chibirobo and tell him I, I that and I can't tell him anything, but that he's a good boy. Good game. Everyone should play Chibirobo. Yeah, this is why it's good I'm here. I would have. I, I think I would have resorted to the D pad eventually. It would have taken a bit, but it would have happened. There we go. There we go. Now I need to water. So, the seeds of labor. And dress your lettuce appropriately. All right, I'm gonna go fish. I forgot what I was raid. Yeah, you actually know how to play. I forgot what I was raiding this game. I don't know. That's up to you. Every good game has a fishing mini game. Couldn't catch anything. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Someone say fishing. <laughs> there we go. I got it. That is a whole ass fucking crab. An ordinary crab that you can catch anywhere. It shuffles around restlessly with one claw up as if it's looking for something. Its cute little eyes peek out from behind the claws. <laughs> crab, so yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sponge boy me bub. I've been caught by this random twink that's a farmer in some random ass dimension. I don't I I don't know where I was going with this joke, ignore me. I, I just thought Mr. Crab joke and I thought everything else second. You caught a pal, give it a gun. We haven't played Power World yet. I didn't know I had a loft. What the hell? Bruh! Look at this shit. I got a whole ass attic. This would be a great spot for a Dollar General. Can I eat the crab? No. <laughs> that floor space though? Yeah, dude. <laughs> That would be a sick gamer pad. For real. <laughs> you could make a hell of a man cave up there. We will store Mr. Krabs in the storage box. Turn bell. <sighs> okay, uh... I'm supposed to do some gathering, and I have to go to the fucking... Well, I think I could go anywhere, really. Heaven's Egg, Bullo's Requiem, Cruel Automata. Alright, 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 chat. Where, where are we dropping? 
We drop an egg. Oh, we we drop in Heine. Or we drop or or we drop in a two B from near Automata. <laughs> egg. Egg. <laughs> so you wanna fight fire with fire, huh? Egg. I might be the only one that gets that joke. <laughs> And there's me who decided that study, garden, game room, and living room are all gonna be in the same room. Bye -bye. <laughs> you know what? Efficiency. And by garden, I mean indoor garden. Uh, fuck. Which way is the uh, egg? A town near the spring sees light. Oh, in the east. Okay, I need to go to the east. That's west, so this is east. Oh shit, I need to like travel. Well, you know what? I can activate those fast travel points, so it's gonna work out. Wow, this is some meadow. <laughs> Reminds me of that time I was in Xenoblade Chronicles and Gar Plains. I said that joke, but it's literally Gar Planes. Like, actually Gar Planes. I'm not... <laughs> it even has the cliff sides and everything. <laughs> hmm. You don't have meadows in your time? You don't have Xenoblade Chronicles? I wouldn't say that'd be dumb, but they're not what they used to be. Still, there's a good number of monsters prowling around here. When you get past this meadow for you to reach Nemia, it isn't going to be easy. We're going to want to take breaks as we go, but we don't wear so we don't wear ourselves out either. Oh, look, Rise. That place would be perfect for taking a break, don't you think? I don't see any monsters around it at all. The sooner we spot areas like that, the better let's keep an eye out for them going forward. You ready to take a break? I think we should. We don't know what's waiting for us up ahead. Let's take the opportunity to rest while we have it. We should be able to enjoy a relatively relaxed meal, too. You can't do much on an empty stomach, right? Let's see what kind of meal we can make. You can take a break where you see a modus monolite. Choose a meal to enjoy with your party members. It's a good chance to learn their favorite meal and see another side to them. Meals you eat during break time have more heightened effects than usual. You can take a break once a day, only at the modus model light within dungeons. Okay, I think we've rested long enough. Are you ready to keep going? Red Sam is making up us procrastinate. So it's ZR. It's literally just ZR. Fuck. I'm an idiot. Alright. Um... Pfft. I honestly don't think we're gonna get very far. So I'm just not gonna eat. Alright, and... Press and slash. Blaze. There we go. Time to remember how the fuck to do the combat. I won't. Hello, children. I see you are in danger. I can't wait to point and laugh at your misery. Commencing Operation Super Sorry. First step, get eaten by monsters. In point, Dad says girls like pretty stuff, so maybe she'll like something pretty too. Pretty stuff? Oh, we can look for a pretty stone or something near the rocks. But I'm the prettiest thing in the room, guys. First step, fucking die. <laughs> Guys, do you have the right tools for the job? I forgot them. <laughs> I admire your honesty, recruit here. You can use one of ours for now. <laughs> okay, roll out. <laughs> hey, Van, did you find anything yet? I found a spare tire in case one of mine blows out. How about you, Rise? Mm. Uh. I found something, Captain. What? <laughs> Was that for real? Whoa, you did it. Nicely done, Rise. You deserve a reward for your service. 
It's so pretty. There's no way Millie can stay mad at us if we give her this. Then we can go back to playing just like we used to. We should give this to her right away. You're right. Let's head back to Lathe and meet up again in front of the inn. Enjoy getting hit by monsters. Oh, and I, I want to... Uh, magic. 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 Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. Well, <clears throat> it's that time of day, everybody. The time for Twitch to, to shove as many advertisements down your throats as you can bear. But don't worry. The stream will still be here, but not present, not on giving, just taking a little bit of a break. So in the meantime, while you while your content is spared, you may get a drink, you may get a snack, you may get a stretch if you so prefer, and we will be right back in just a minute. With all of that being said, my fellow humans, bye, bye for now. now. Welcome back, everybody. Hope y'all had a good break, had a good stretch, or whatever you did during that. You don't need to tell me. 
You don't need to tell me you committed a murder plot during the middle of that. It's completely safe information with me. I am not a fed, I promise. Electro. There we go. <laughs> Give me that. I'm trying to remember the part when I, uh... I'm trying to remember the part of the day where I die. Wow, I, I literally... <laughs> <laughs> literally just steal her look. <laughs> I literally just steal her fucking look. <laughs> hey, yo, girl, we fucking twinsies. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so what the... the fuck does this do? Bow change? Yo, I, yo, actually a brawler? A brawler, though? I'm actually about this. Because, you know, uh, firearms, I punch shit. That's kind of my shtick. Like, I'm about this. I'm about hitting the... I'm about punching shit in the face. This is what I'm about. Let's go. I'm about to die. <laughs> I'm about to die. Help. Help. Hold on. I have skills. Give me a sec. Do I have that one already? I think I do. There we go. What does mode change to? Manipulate the device to change the base attack attribute to sage or crushing. Gotcha. Okay, um... Eat a sandwich. There we are. I'm focusing. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I ate several souls. Were they good ones? <laughs> Mining away. So I cannot find another one of those thingamabobbers. So I think... You know what? I'm just gonna bolt for it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. See what I can find. I'm just running. I'm just running and gunning like this. Literally like that. <laughs> I fucking can't get over how he walks. <laughs> Alright, mode change. I am all about I'm all about Assault Savant now. This is entirely my speed. All right, let's return home. <laughs> we have a checkpoint. That's all I care about. <laughs> all right, uh, books on the table. I have woman, to go and check around there next time. Woman in my house. Let's come and talk to me when you're going to investigate the sea's light, okay? Farm work is pretty Another good for exercise. <laughs> Another fairy in my house. Flowers in my house. Party in the house. Party rockers in the house tonight. Everybody just have a good time. 640 gorillas. I'm very all over the place right now. My brain is fried from the drive. <laughs> I am in overstimulation mode. I am at 25% capacity right now. And I am in front of a window. And there is a book in my house. How's it going, Rise? Good to see you awake finally. So, ta-da! What do you think? <laughs> when did that book get here? I worked all night while you were asleep to carry it here. <laughs> you don't mind it, Rise, because I've got something even more important to tell you. I'm going to write a wish list of stuff I'd like you to do, and you're going to do it. 
Now, I know what you're thinking, why don't you just do it yourself, all powerful fairy? Well, isn't it obvious? I'm trying to inspire your day today. It's fun to have goals to work towards, right? She literally giving me a vision board right now. But I know you're pretty stingy, so if it helps gets you moving, then I'll be dishing out rewards too. Like, uh, oh, my help with the farm work. Or I can give you super helpful tool recipes. Isn't the power of a great fairy terrific? Look forward to seeing what you can do. Check your fairy orders from the fairy book in your house. You can fairy notify them once you have fairy fulfilled an order by pressing fairy A. You receive fairy compensation once you have fulfilled a certain number of fairy orders. Fairy. There we go. Harvest stellar wheat. Harvest stellar wheat. Harvest dress lettuce. Fermenting barrel. I can make beer. Wow. You did it. I can be the reason that prohibition does not work. Plow charge. With the hoe equip, hold Y to charge and release it to plow a wider area in one shot. Create processed goods by putting materials in the processor installed on the farm. What you can put in and what you can take on, how long it'll take, all depend on the type of processor you use. You can craft a processor after you get the recipe for it. Damn, Rise can really plow now. <laughs> I've always been able to. I've just never been able to prove it. Don't fact check that. <laughs> that was fast. Thanks for completing an item on my wish list. I gave you a handy nanny tool recipe before, so... How's this? You received nine- Jesus Christ! She's fucking loaded! Drink maker to make vegetable juice. Not only is it super yum, but vegetable juice replenishes your endurance too. You can- I can drink juice until it pours right at my ears, so hop to it. I don't want to see that. It's her throne wish list. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. What happens when the streamer simps in the middle of a stream for another person, for another streamer? Does the entire Twitch collapse? I don't know. Fuck, man. My humor is not on point right now. It really is not. <laughs> I am reaching every five fucking seconds right now, dude. Uh, create barrel. Barrel. Lost machine on your farm and add drinks, fruits, or vegetables, or, or unusual ingredients. We can make bread. 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 Stellar wheat to make flour. And let's make some repair kits. Eight's a good number. I like eight. Make that bread, mother, brother. <laughs> butter? <laughs> make that bread, butter. <laughs> make that butter bread. Chirpy for this time in the morning. <laughs> Make that bread butter. <laughs> the bread will butter itself. That's just how fucking good I am at my job. I just look at the bread and, and it's just buttered. It's just immediately buttered by default. <laughs> New nickname. Fuck, I am yellow. Shit. <laughs> I'm the butter dragon now. There's a letter here for you. I sound like fucking... Now I, now I sound like fucking Sky does Minecraft with that. Remember him? I remember when he didn't get into controversy. Remember? <laughs> Never gotten anything bad. Wasn't an awful person at all in actuality. Just like Chugga Conroy. I'm very depressed right now. <laughs> oh god, that's time of my life I had cast into the void. <laughs> Ain't it with everybody at this fucking point? For real. Farm work is pretty good wing exercise. 
All right, let's see here. Insert materials. Cool berry. I want berry juice first. Personally, I have no fucking flower. I'm selling most of your carrots. Because I am greedy. Perfect. And, uh... All the lettuce. There we go. Perfect. <sighs> I need to go get more seeds. Bye bye. So I can grow. Give food. Oh, yeah. Um, these two. I forgot all about them. Egg. I'm getting to the egg. We need to feed ourselves first, Mila. We need money. <laughs> Just a friendly reminder. A very calm and friendly reminder. <laughs> Everybody here. Egg. We'll get, we'll get to the egg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining that Cruz meme where it's just like <laughs> Here, right here, all our needs, all our financial needs will be met I want egg in a minute! <laughs> May I offer you an egg in these trying times? I am going, we are going to plant some seeds and then we're going to go to the egg We, were, we are going to go to McDonald's after we go to the grocery store, children <laughs> plant egg. We will. You can't. We will not plant the egg. The egg is too big. <laughs> I'm not even sure if the in a minute got caught on the mic. Ever since I add the limiter, it's a bit weird. I might take the limiter off. I won't lie. We got something to show you. Van Venta, hold on just a moment. Does she sound rushed? Get pretty and stuff, that's why. Guys, right, chat wants egg. I'm working on the egg! You impatient child! <laughs> and why do you bring Rise with you? <laughs> Wrong egg! At least get it right! <laughs> it's an eggplant, it's still not enough. <laughs> it's too much, actually. There's no plant with the egg. The egg needs to be pure. Y'all want the egg so badly, and y'all don't even have standards for the egg. So what the fuck does that say about you? Hmm? You ever think about that? Ever think about how your traitor's still a fucking egg? Ever think about that, huh? Think about how you disgrace it? Our fucking religion? You don't respect the egg, you just lust after it. Needlessly. Senselessly. You don't that you don't think about anything else. Is this what you want our religion to become? Hmm? Think about that. You fucking heathens. Anyway. What is up with you two? You look like you're about to cry. We're super sorry. As opposed to normal sorry. We got you this. Here, please take it. Hmm. The egg needs to be evil. I see there's two halves to this church now. Much like the Bibble. 
and the followers have gone and the followers of the devil eggs. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Now we need now we need to call the evil sect of the Church of Egg the Deviled Eggs. Please. That has to happen now. <laughs> <laughs> the sunny side up sect of the Church of Egg and the Deviled Egg sect. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking joke. Uh, well, you see, you've been going home a lot recently. We figured we'd done something to upset you without realizing. Huh? But I'm not angry. What? You're kidding! I'm really not. I'm not even the slightest bit angry. <laughs> we got it all wrong. That's why you guys went and found that stone. Such doofuses. Don't think I'm going to give it back, though. I'm going to treasure this, always. Do what you like with it. <laughs> Lucifer morning egg. <laughs> as long as it makes you happy, Malika. I'll take good care of it. Is that all you came here for? Pretty much. In that case, I'll see you both tomorrow. Bye-bye. We never got our answer. What the heck was that? All our hard work wasted. Made Milika happy, though. <laughs> I don't want my friends to be happy. I just need them to stay here. I need to be manipulative. You don't understand. <laughs> Friendship is a fucking lie. <laughs> And eh, whatever, if it was just a misunderstanding, then it ain't so bad. Glad that worked out as well. So we should head home, race the fountain. <laughs> I do not require happiness, I require presence. <laughs> I do not require your pitiful friendship. I require usefulness, you fucking miserable cad. <gasps> I bet you follow the sunny side up sector, don't you? <laughs> but us in the deviled egg sect. <laughs> we know the truth of this world. I didn't even pay attention to what I got rewarded, by the way. Right, so guys, say thank you for all your help back there. Thank you for helping. I had a lot of fun, I guess. I didn't mean to hit that. <laughs> What's up? It looks like something's bothering you. Yeah. The texture on this bridge could use work. The mystery hasn't been solved yet. I guess at least we know she isn't angry at us. Maybe it isn't any of our business. She'll say she'll see us tomorrow. I can't let this go. Fucking ace attorney. Bro, why is... <laughs> <laughs> they brought the fucking choir for this shit. What the fuck? <laughs> I gotta go and ask her why. If I don't do it now, then it's gonna keep me up at night. <laughs> whoa, whoa, man, wait up. We gotta catch up with him, guys. <laughs> Okay, fucking, what the hell is I doing? General store, and then egg. Yeah. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll just be kept up at the, tonight. It's no big deal. All right, let's get some wheat. Five, gor five gorillas. Five star wheat. <laughs> we can just grow straight up grass. <laughs> uh... Cumbles can be re harvested. Ayo, can be harvested repeatedly. Egg more important than local children. I mean, you're right. Have you met children? I have. At my job, they're a fucking pain in my ass. They show up, order a bunch of shit, make a bunch of immature jokes in my direction, and then they tip me like $5 on their $100 tab. 
That happened once, by the way. I was very angry that day. <laughs> Keeping your appointments. I know you're busy traveling all over the world, but it's about time you came back for a checkup. Who knows what state your health is in now? I know you're sick of hearing, but your health comes first. You can't adventure when you're better in right. Don't forget to visit the clinic. Understand? <laughs> I went there yesterday. <laughs> Laith, please. All right. Wheat. 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 Bread. 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 And then I water. There we are. How's this going? It is still going. Understood. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye, Rai Rai. Don't die, die. <laughs> bye bye, don't die, die. And then you just start saying that, to be honest. It's going into the vocabulary. Bye bye, don't die, die. Okay, fucking food. That's what I want because I'm gonna be fighting. Um, we will eat a berry. Thoughts on Sundere's? Uh, they've never really been my thing. Honestly, I've never. <laughs> Well, when it comes to my type in fiction, Milla, my uh, my type tends to be the most mentally stable people in the room. <laughs> like, I... I mean, I say that, but... I don't know, I do have Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club in there. She's not mentally stable. <laughs> um, But, like, Yukiko is, like, my big one. Um, Hilda from Three Houses is a big one. Because she was a uh, fucking lazy bimbo with a heart of gold and I love her. <laughs> they just need to pretend to be mentally stable. Gotcha. <laughs> but, um, uh, where are other ones? I think I know who you like in this game. <laughs> uh, a mentally stable woman. Impossible. <laughs> But here's the thing, man. In real life, I tend to go after. I tend to go after. <laughs> Trends have tended towards danger, for my mental health. <laughs> he knows my type. I'm trying to think about the girls you post. I don't know, man. My brain's scrambled right now. My memory recall be shit. <laughs> yes, and she's badass. Ooh, ooh. I'm interested. <laughs> But, um, yeah, like, the kind of girls I've been into scrambled like an egg. Yes, I've been fully indoctrinated at this point. <laughs> That's another sect of the church, by the way, scrambled. <laughs> kind of the neutral party between deviled and sunny side up. <laughs> but uh, let's see here. There's, um, so there's Yuri, there's Yukiko, there's Hilda. Callie from Splatoon is a big one I like a lot. Um, who else? I'm trying to think about Pokemon. Who in Pokemon is like wife material? Because I got plenty in Pokemon that I just think are hot. <laughs> but like the ones that are wife material, I think Bianca. I think I simp for Bianca on a like a marriage level. What else? Um... Fuck. I know I have one more. Oh, um... Uh, Ibuki Miyota from Danganronpa. She was another one I liked a lot. <laughs> Between Devil and Sun, I guess I'm an anti-centrist Edgar. <laughs> well, clearly Bianca, she's so... Mila emotes. 
Good melee emotes. And you know what? True. <laughs> Same quality of woman as quality of emotes. I'm just gonna go over this way. Not look in that direction. <laughs> You know, Arya, she, Arya has, like, a really good voice actor, I'm not gonna lie. Like, she seems, like, in her dialogue, she seems so, like, deadpan, but her dialogue and, like, her actual spoken lines are, like, have a lot of, like, oomph to them. And it kind of fucks with me. I really like Nia. Nia's solid. Nia's a solid uh, waifu from Xenoblade. I don't really have, like, any waifus from Xenoblade, to be honest. Alright. Alright, let me take care of this. There we go. That's a lot better. Arya's actually really interesting the more you play, that's all I'll say. Gotcha. What the hell am I being hit by? What the hell am I being hit by? Am I poisoned? Oh, I'm poisoned. Lovely. Well, you know what they say. If you're poisoned, eat sandwich. Alright, switch on back over. Got him with that falcon punch. Let's get this over with. I really want to get more. <laughs> I really want to get more job points and um, assaults of on. Because you know, I like punching things. No. Oh! How can this be? This is impossible. I would, I would very much like to have step. That's important. Rush the target with a crushing and lightning attack. Additional effect has a chance to stun. Requirements to learn none. That's like Rinka from Fates. I can want to call those games, but if, but you can't tell what I'm talking about. If I just say that, yeah, I will not. Uh. You're being hit by egg. Finally. Wind re Reader Feather. Used to fortify weapons. A feather that can fly through the air at high speed. It possesses wind attributes. Cool leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about the, like, um... See her, they, them, cool hat meme reading that one. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to... I clearly need to kill something. Get rid of Rusty Metal. There we go. Get this chest. Damn it. Okay, we need to get rid of something again. Uh, fucking... Um... Soft cotton. Pink aloe. Juicy aloe. I will just eat berry. Consume. Consume the berry. Small wind core. I do not have bombs. I need to go find more shoe. Rise, you like you are you are colored like egg yolk. Does that make you our leader? I mean, it does. I've been your leader since day one, even before the church. I established this shit. I am your prophet. I am your prophet. I am your missionary. I am your gospel. I am your saint. I don't make the rules, sorry. <laughs> Egg fit. 
I want to take a break and like bond with Arya, but also, um, fucking, I don't want to waste the sandwich. Fuck it, I'll be able to get my renovated table and shit tomorrow, probably. I think. Has anyone ever told you you're kind of tactless? <laughs> God damn, Arya, just coming right out, just coming out swinging, why don't you? <laughs> well, that's just rude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I mentioned because of the way everything played out, we ended up living together. I've only ever shared a room once before, and that was with a research partner. It was a complete disaster for one thing. I'm a night person, so we were on totally different schedules. And well, apparently I'm just not a very cooperative person. That's not true. Really? I know you're probably just trying to make me feel better about it, but thanks anyway. Just to put it out there, I did my fair share of the housework and everything you know. It wasn't because of anything like that. I think we just had very different ways of life. Don't surprise that I could live with you, because you're so open-minded, or should I say, laid back? <laughs> Chill? Down with the business, as the homies call it? <laughs> yeah, we're both so laid back. I'm a night person is walking around during the day. <laughs> exactly. We're like two peas in a pod. I wouldn't go that far. Just that curiosity, have you ever thought there was anything weird about me while we've been living together? I mean, if there isn't, then that, that's fine. But like, I, do I do anything weird while I sleep, for example? Your hair must be hard. <laughs> do I do anything while I sleep? Is, is there anything I, I, like, I'm doing that's like uncomfortable or weird? Yo, your hair looks like it's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> yeah. You don't snore if you're worried. I was trying to be discreet about it. See what I mean by the whole tactless thing? <laughs> I don't know what I look like while I'm sleeping. I just wonder if I do anything embarrassing. If I do, will you promise to wake me up? Wait, is that why I was called uncooperative? HP has been fully been covered. Stamina fully is restored. Ready? Let's go. There we are. Let us see what lies beyond the blue lines in the middle of the ground. The blue dots. You can now travel through Njord's step on the world map. It. We finally got here. Pneumonia Town. Everybody is gonna cough. Hmm. This place is actually really pretty. I hate this place too pink. It is... Honestly, it's closer to purple. It's a very purpley pink. And I know you said you like purple, so what do you really think about that? <laughs> so, this is Pneumonia Town? This is the place where all the cherry blossoms bloom here around, right? Too much pink in the purple. It's pink. <laughs> oh, visitors! Did you come far? Yeah. Do not give information to strangers. My, oh my, you're a funny sort, aren't you? Little do you know, I was stalking you. I know you came from Lath. But you shouldn't hang about here too long. Especially a pretty young girl like yourself. The egg likes them young. <laughs> well, of course, we try to maintain the peace here in pneumonia. But then that heaven's egg turned up. What is the heaven's egg? I'd tell you if I could, but you'd be told we don't know either. Some random dragon guy just came around here and started making us worship it. There was also this one, like, rose witch. I don't know what her deal was. <laughs> she just keeps saying egg over and over again. I think they're trying to turn it into a coat. They even throw me out in this outfit. I'm apparently a priest now. Help. 
They be making off with any young girl they find in town. What kind of monsters would do? Yo, the the egg actually does like him young. Oh dear God. Uh, circuit no. Bad. Bad. <laughs> Good question. Nobody had seen anything like that in these parts before. Asa and Alka's brigade have been scaring them off, but even they're at their wits end. You just take care, all right? Let's go check out the Heaven's Egg. Agreed. If the Heaven's Egg appeared after the abnormality occurred, the two must be connected. Correlation does not equal causation, Arya. This is Logic 101. I could kick you right now. Would that be correlated to the strange occurrence? Ignore the fact that I'm kind of a strange individual and that my presence here would, like, I guess, connect to that. Okay, imagine if the old lady kicked you. What then? Huh? Find someone to show us around. You tell Arya about Aesil. At least it's something about him. I get the impression he's taking the reins in dealing with these monsters. Is he really that impressive, I wonder? I suppose I'll find out when we meet him. Let's see if we can find him. Okie dokie. Let's hit that fucking save button. Save complete. River water doesn't linger, but continues to flow. It doesn't change direction, but continues as it pleases. I stand here watching the water all day and night. Sometimes I just slap it up. Like a dog. People call me weird. I say they're just unhydrated. <laughs> Alright. Uh the observation deck is that way, but I'm not allowed to climb it yet. They say it's too dangerous for me. Bitch, we literally have floating staircases. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, for real, like... Ow. I require an explanation. Alright, let's actually... I guess we're just looking around. Magic. Magic doesn't exist. What do you think? I'm some kind of mage. I think I've used magic before in this game. Silly Mill Mill. There's no magic. All there is is bench. And a cliff I can't jump off of because this game fucking sucks. Does magic also stop people from falling off? <laughs> you know what? Potentially. <laughs> Okie dokie. Downward daisies. Technically, they're Sakura blossoms, but let's not think about that. House. Where the fuck is Asshole? Where the fuck is Axel? Axel Grease. In open 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. I guess you can use that to not have to go home. You activated the orphanage modus monolite. Right, he said he was at the orphanage. Axel. <laughs> I'm just calling him whatever name comes up. Search. You receive the valuable End of Eden XLI time travel. Yo, let's fucking read. I can fucking remember what the fuck I'm doing. End of Eden time travel. A story from the End of Eden. Eden, that's not time travel. By the time the Red Serpent arrives, there was naught but the corpses of babies. Time travel is a lie. There is nothing here. My Eve would not be in such a place. 
The sinner looks to the snake and confesses their sins. The snake yawns, disinterested, and hands them a silver apple. And so, the sinner too left paradise behind. Because the apple was actually made of mercury. He, he, he died of mercury poisoning. What is Axel from Kingdom Hearts doing here? <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised you did not activate the two redeem circuit in response to me do saying Axel because I literally use this voice clip in that. I expected better of you, circuit. Anyways, Mila said lower level. You see, simple. The sea is simple. I think it's quite a complicated ecosystem, actually. I never played Kingdom Hearts, I just had no enough to infiltrate groups. <laughs> you know what, fair. Where is Axel Grease? You cannot fish because your backpack is full. I can't catch Mr. Krabs. Woman! Estina is extremely popular with the children at the orphanage. I've admired her for some time. At a glance, she seems rather cold, but she's actually very warm. Talking to her is quite easy. She doesn't seem to be from around here, but she doesn't talk about her past at all. She's so mysterious. Open the door. And for the record, I haven't really played much Kingdom Hearts myself. So don't ask me things. Welcome. Feel free to take a seat wherever you like. <laughs> Welcome to the sitting bar. All we do is sit. <laughs> the food is not for eating, only only for staring at. We prioritize the sit first. <laughs> I will break into every person's home until I find Axel Grease. Ah, I see you're not aware about that time Goofy actually fucking died on screen. No, I'm aware of that. <laughs> My grandma's been yelling for those monsters to come and get her ever since they attacked me. Was I injured? Oh, it was barely a scratch. I don't think they really wanted to attack me. More like they were just observing me. <laughs> the real question is, grandma ever protective or is grandma jealous? <laughs> Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Bunny exclamation point for Metal Gear Solid. Hello, Axel Grease. Let's see here. Is that you, Delia? It's almost time for your medicine. Oh. Well, if it isn't a rise, what brings you in all the way from Leith? <laughs> we came to see the Heaven's Egg. What? Why would you want to do that? Why is that so surprising? Who's your friend? He does not look like she's from Mother Russia. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Ari Rasnari, investigating the sea's light. The seas that I do say. That's right, there's an event here too. Am I right? Everywhere seems to be having trouble. Which is why we were hoping you would be able to take us to it. So that's what it is all about. We've been dealing with monsters flying into Nemia ever since Heaven's Egg appeared in Moscow. <laughs> They've been kidnapping any young woman they find out on the street. I'm more than happy to serve as your guide, but you need to be careful. Heard all that from old lady. Glimmer, what are you doing here, dearie? <laughs> Monsters that prey only on young girls sounds more like an urban legend than anything grounded in reality. I hear some are taking respite knowing you're trying to solve this crisis, Axel. Yet, this is more of a coincidence. Turns out I'm better at dealing with flying monsters than others. Oh, it's that time already. I'm sorry, I need to go and deliver medicine. It is almost midnight. I'm kind of late. I'm kind of bad at this job. There's a reason I only fight monsters. Same stuff Crest made for you? 
One and same. It's for another girl who lives here. Her name, Delia. She's probably over by orphanage. She's pretty popular with the kids, you see. Do you mind if I show you around after delivering her medicine? Oh. Thank you so much. All right, to go, then let's make our way to the orphanage. Where we belong. We're all parentless fucks, apparently. Right now, I'm just assuming Mila died the second a uh, a Asel showed up on screen. <laughs> and that's why she hasn't been fangirling. <laughs> like, they just died. This collapsed the second, like, it their pixel was there. <laughs> He's cute, shut up. <laughs> Phoenix down. <laughs> Uh, fuck, where was the orphanage again? I forgot. I think it's over this way, yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling that'd summon her. I had a feeling they'd be back. With the current lighting, she looks just like... She just... Her hair looks green, and I immediately thought... Rhea. <laughs> From Fire Emblem. Mithra? <laughs> I ain't gonna let you win either, Telia. Quit being mean to Telia. I'll kick your butt if you make her cry. I'll throw you off the floating stairs, you little bitch. Don't tempt me. Telia. Axel? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Axel's here. Surround him! <laughs> Kill him! Get his ass! Rip out his liver! <laughs> Remove his bone marrow from his spine. <laughs> Rub his limbs off one by one. Crack each of his fingers over. Over his back. Uh, I need to recount my fucking sound effects again. It's a fucking assault. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I can make a Dark Brotherhood joke here. <laughs> From Skyrim. <laughs> These orphans did the fucking Black Sacrament. <laughs> but the Dark Brotherhood just told them to do it themselves. <laughs> I mean, he can't even be around his second wife anymore. <laughs> this match is for all the beanses. We can't let you get in the way. Alright, alright. I just want to give Delia medicine. Here, take this. Thank you for bringing it over. Are you feeling poorly, Telia? She's so proper about it. Yeah, there's one kid like, Oh, this is for all the beans. We ain't gonna let you do it. And then just the young girl right here just being like, Are you feeling poorly, Telia? May I fetch you some water? Perhaps some tea? Would you care for Earl Grey this evening? <laughs> Asshole sounds so close to asshole. <laughs> I'm out here ruining your boy. <laughs> I'm out here ruining everybody. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Seeing everybody's smiles always helps me feel better. Hey, Mr. Asshole, who are these people with you? <laughs> oh, these are my friends from Leith. I'm giving them a little tour of pneumonia. Hello, my name is Arya, and this is... The Naughty Kid Gobbler. No, you're not. Stop it. <laughs> Isn't Lath rather far from here? We'll have to give them a proper tour since they came all this way. Isn't far now, we can just phase through Njord's step, apparently. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Pause our game here for the day. I'd like to show our new friends around town if that's okay. That was a poem. It's snowing on Mount Fuji. <laughs> we'll see you later, Telia. Bye, Mr. Asshole. So where should we take them first? I thought observation deck would be a good start. But 
apparently they came all this way to investigate Seaslight. Then that's a great idea. <laughs> Bro, those fu- <laughs> Not the Game Grumps reference! <laughs> Milla, you have no idea how happy I am to hear that you got that joke. <laughs> you have made me so happy right now. I'm very, very... <laughs> I'm ecstatic to know you got that. <laughs> And that's a great idea. Pneumonia has an observation deck? Yeah, it's the tallest tower in the whole town. It gives you a really clear view of the spring sea's light. And the view is probably the prettiest I've ever seen. Besides when I look in the mirror in the morning, of course. You already went to the observation deck, though. We already went there. I just realized time isn't passing in this town. I guess it's because we're in plot shit. I don't want to go to school. Numa. I'm just saying pneumonia. <laughs> Though I know you're talking about the character. I'll say she does kind of look like Numa. Oh, this is impressive. I wonder how this was built. Labor, labor. <laughs> it serves as a beacon that spreads power among the light through the whole town. <laughs> and now with all the sponsors pouring out of heaven's sake, we also used its watchtower. <laughs> so, are we ready to go up? <laughs> I cracked myself up just going slave labor <laughs> in a Russian accent. You weren't wrong. You can see the sea's light so clearly from up here. It looks like shit. <laughs> it's a great view. I'd say that, bro. This look. This looks like fucking garbage. <laughs> it's like it's like looking at a dead tree right now. Yo, that shit actually looks like a reset mom from Kid Icarus Uprising. I'm not gonna lie. I guess it does look like an egg. Praise be the egg. It's way bigger than I expected. It's cause it's night. I'm still gonna make jokes about it, Mill Mill. You can't stop me. I'm a dedicated smart ass. It's part of my job description. That's right. There wasn't anything like it before. Don't you think there's something mysterious about it? Like it's calling to us. You get that feeling too, right? I don't know why the Fumos aren't turning off. They should be. Hold on. I gotta press this button. No? The fuck's the button I press? Unless... VTS Pog tried to reconnect to it again, bro. Why? There we go. At this point, I should just let fucking connect, because apparently it's dead set on it. It's fucking stupid. Like it's calling to us. You get that feeling too, right? What kind of egg is it, do you think? Probably one of the monster's eggs, if you consider everything else that's happened. Definitely something dangerous, whatever it is. Especially considering it just appeared out of nowhere. Do you think so? I don't get the impression it's dangerous at all, but... Achoo! Are you okay, Delia? It's fine, the wind's just a little strong up here, so I've gotten kind of chilly. <laughs> Good thing the fences are magic and I won't get blown off. Sure. Her demeanor changed pretty quick. Happens. She requires a lot of help some of the times. Uh, I take it you guys aren't family? You're right about that. We're not related by blood at all. Got that feeling for some reason. You don't look remotely real alike. <laughs> Literally, just like... She, man, y'all aren't related. I, it's crazy. I figure, I figure that out. By the fact that y'all didn't look the same. Like, no fucking shit, Arya. 
She doesn't seem to have any family, and then again, she doesn't remember anything before coming here. Her name is the only clue she has to her past. <laughs> Amnesia must really suck. You should know. Why are you talking like you have no experience with this? <laughs> Anyway, since Tidy likes the view from up here, I used to ring her, hoping it might jog her memory or something. I decided to look after her until memory returns and she knows where she's meant to go back to. That's all? And here I was thinking you were a couple or something. Whoa, 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 not Arya. No, not like that at all. She's trying to steal your man, Mila. Do I get the axe? Relax, I'm only teasing. Labelle, it is dinner time. Is there a party or something? The opposite. It rings when monsters have been spotted coming from heaven's egg. So like I said, dinner time. <laughs> it is time for the hunt. I'll go handle the monsters. Wait a second. Oh, hello there. Okay, so clearly we are going to jump right into an encounter after this, so I am going to have to, um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take a little bit of an ad break for this because that's coming up. That's kind of egg-shaped. It kind of is. Yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead, take a little bit of a break real quick so y'all get some food, get some water, see them stretch, do whatever y'all humans need to do, and we're going to be right back in just a minute and kick this thing's ass. With all that being said, uh, bye for now.
You know, I think that monster has been really listening to Telia for the last three minutes because it has done exactly what she has said and has not come any closer. So you know what? Good, good manners on this guy. Good manners on this guy. I, I like the cut of his jib. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Hope y'all had a good break, whatever y'all did during it. Uh, let's go ahead and continue our little shindig. Delia. You know, I should change his accent. Uh... Delia? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm in between Hispanic and French. I think I'm just going to sell for Hispanic because that's easier. El, uh, El Bellador from Undertale Yellow has got me in practice. <laughs> These are the creatures that keep stealing young girls? I expected some little creepier, Austin. They don't look particularly intelligent, do they? I deal with it. You all need to get out of here. <laughs> We're counting on you. <laughs> We're counting on you, asshole. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> you have a good rest of your day. Don't die. <laughs> I'm going to help you. Agreed. Assuming I'm a helpless young girl is a big mistake. Ow. Is, is this it? That was a good workout. That, that's it. That's the whole encounter. <laughs> What's going on? Normally they just fly away. Mr. Asshole, come quick, there are monsters at the orphanage. Eat, stay where you are. That's enough. Delia, please, just leave. Don't harm our precious town any more than you already have. And he listened. I told y'all, my old manner. I like the cut of his jib. He's, he's, he's a good guy. Good guy. Good, good morals. Good, he good head on shoulders that he doesn't have. <laughs> Cliff. Bye. Holy shit, she died. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing on that Fuji. <laughs> I'm sorry, asshole. All the excitement today has what tired me out. <laughs> it's fine. You have to be careful not to push yourself too hard. You're right. I can't thank you both enough for your help. And here I thought it was going to be me helping both of you. Don't mention it. Thanks to you, we've got a good idea of what's happening with the Seas Light. Guys, you know what we have to do, right? Sounds like we're going to the egg. If I see egg in the option, I'm just picking it without hesitation. I think it's a root of all evil kind of vibe about it. In that case, you have to let me come with you. I've gone to check it out once already, so I can show you how to get in. Asshole, join your party. As the meaning with asshole awakens heightened powers, you acquired the Sky Lancer job class. Job that excels at physical attacks with wind attributes and learns many wide range skills and useful in areas with multiple enemies. Also, that's really solid. Let's get right to it then. But I want to punch things. I'm going to keep punching things. Tilia is sleeping peacefully. Good night. Good night. Let me know when you're going to investigate the Heaven's Egg. I'd like to lend a hand. So no advancement happened during that plot stuff. Understood. Let's go to the inn. If we have money. We have 70 gorillas. We have 70 gorillas in the town of Pneumonia. Trying to remember where the fuck the inn is. If it functions how I assume it functions, I'd rather just spend the night here. There it is. Perfect. Oh. 
Welcome to the Wind Poem Perch. Afraid we're totally full at the moment. Literally useless. <laughs> Literally there is decoration. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Forcing me to go back home. To a farm. And you won't even let me jump down as a shortcut. You have to go home. You can warp home using green. I know. But I wanted to just get up in the morning and everything be nice and easy, but no. Are you taking good care of your flying bug friend? No. I'm feeding her rat poison. <laughs> you must come and talk to me when you're going to investigate the sea's light. There's some more tasks done. More things on the achievement list. Oh, she has a little, she has a little key. She's a little key cat. Look at him. Yeah, a little bow tie and everything. Little key cat. Look at him. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make it so I can look at him. Hold on. Little key cat. Wow, well, I'm, I'm on close up with the key cat. Little key cat. The key cat. Key cat. Can't get closer with a key cat. This game fucking sucks. <laughs> All right, I'm going to die. There we go. Level up. Thirteen hundred gorillas. Good lord, I am caked up. Go outside. Open the door and walk away. Never give in to the call of yesterday. Good morning. There we are. Fuck. Everything sucks. Where's my storage box? There it is. That in there. Put that in there. Both of those. All of that. Anything that's a cooking ingredient goes in there. Crafting. Crafting. Cooking ingredients. Fortify weapons. Money. Got berry juice. Let's take a look see. Look at that. Berry juice. 600 HP. A healthy juice made of 100% fruit. As opposed to like 75. Carrot. Alright. Um. To Lathe Village. Glug. <laughs> I always forget I have to go this way. I'm very intelligent. Bye bye. Bye bye. Don't die die. <sighs> we should go visit uh Crest real quick. I think that's a thing that should be done. Or something. Uh, I ain't remember. Mm, I ain't remember where this um, smithy is though. Right here. I think that's it. Closed. What do you mean you're not open when I need you? How dare you have a life? You are meant to serve me and only me. Alright. Let's go see the doctor. See if we can authorize her up. Good to see you, Rise. I'm glad you came by for a checkup. We'll have to keep monitoring you for a while to see how you're recovering. 
Hmm. I'm fine, honestly. Patients in recovery always say that. And then they die. <laughs> Let me take a look at you. Press gives you a medical exam. All done. You have five hours left to live. <laughs> I was seriously worried about you when I saw you collapse that time. Thank goodness you found me. Well, the best way to thank me is to keep coming in for your checkups. Now, on to payment. For today's medical exam, it will be around this much. I can't afford that. Oh, is that too much? I wasn't trying to overcharge you or anything, though. Oh well, I suppose I'll just have to keep scraping by to keep this clink going, then. But you're always so busy? I know my clink seems busy, but a lot of people come just to talk to me for reassurance. Broke gang? Yeah, for real. I can't keep fucking money in my pocket. I can't. I don't even have a kitchen, bro. Apparently, my my kitchen doesn't fucking work. I got all this shit, all these utensils. I got a couple things that kind of look like stoves, and it just doesn't work. None, none of it is functional. Like that, like those pitchers. I can't even use them to pour anything. They're they're just glued to the counter. <laughs> it's all props, exactly. But I mean, I'm doing fine with the everyday expenses. Are you in a lot of debt or something? Hey now. I can understand your curiosity, but you can't just ask people such personal questions out of the blue, you know? Fuck, man, maybe I am tactless. <laughs> <laughs> Look. It's just to me, I'm not a judgy person. So I don't judge you for being in debt. I judge myself, but I wouldn't judge you. So I just ask you <laughs> because I'm socially inept. I just remembered I haven't charged you for the first time I treated you yet either. My my, you owe me quite a lot of money. <laughs> Go easy on me, please. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, I'm not that mean. All right, let's make a deal. You help me out in exchange for medical exams. Deal? Sounds fun. Aren't you enthusiastic? I'll write to you when I have something for you to do then. Thanks. <laughs> the rumored physician. <laughs> I'm sorry, just the... Uh, oh, you'll help me out with work? Great. Here, fire water. Go do a crime. <laughs> I, I mean, in the title, I did say we're, we're farming for pyromania, so... <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's all coming from the mayor. He's obsessed with this shit. He's making everybody else do his dirty work. <laughs> Don't think I've forgotten from last stream. <laughs> That's funny as shit to me. <laughs> Among the quests will be some requests from your party members. Deepens your bond, strengthening your bond with your party members, unlock special skills. <laughs> Here, go to a crime. <laughs> <laughs> if you won't pay your debts, you have to help me deal with the debts of others. And there's one person living just a couple steps down. <laughs> and I want you to take this pyro liquid and I want you to throw it at their house. Understood? <laughs> the mayor gives me toads worth energy. Oh yeah, the mayor himself, sure. But in the first stream, we had this running joke of him being like super obsessed with like the fire of the wreckage of that of the... Meteor. And it just spiraled him being a, pyro a pyromaniac. <laughs> and so now whenever the mayor comes up, it, I just make it, I just make him say a bunch of stuff about how much he wants to see stuff lit on fire. Shit, I forgot to go to the, uh... I forgot to go to the thing. 
kitchen. Functional kitchen. I gotta get back in the kitchen. I gotta cook her the pizza. Come to me any. <laughs> cool, it's 2K. Please, come again. It's 2K. Uh, the fire will drive people to visit. Tourism is important, you know? <laughs> and by people to visit, I mean me to come watch. <laughs> I want to watch the fire. <laughs> Don't tell them. Bird's eyebrow. He likes to watch the world burn. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck, man. I should have saved the first Harvest Stella stream. If I knew I was going to be playing it on stream again. Because my plan was just to play it on my own time. Then I didn't have my own time. And now we're here. But I didn't think it was going to be an ongoing series, so I just kind of, like, left it as is. Regret. Uh. Hmm. We are going... Liquid-bearing fire attributes it burns constantly while maintaining its liquid form. We're going to we're gonna sell the rest of the carrots. I'm gonna sell some of the meat. You know what? We will sell the berry juice. Because I want money. I am ba broke. I am ba 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 broke. Collect. Cool berry and mushroom. Do you enjoy streaming this? I do enjoy streaming it. I am having fun with it. So I'll probably go. Whenever I just want to play a chill game for a little bit. I have no, like, other obligations for series. I'd like to stream this more. It's not gonna be as, uh... I don't think it'll be as dedicated as, uh... I don't think it's gonna be as dedicated as, like, uh, Undertale Yellow or something of that regard. It'll definitely be a, like, kinda when I feel like it kinda thing. I don't know. I I do want to stream it more. That's for sure. Just how often is the question? This is definitely a more like chill kind of game. And yeah, there's a plot, but there's definitely a lot of like uh, replayability asset, replayability assets, like Animal Crossing, with you know the farming and shit. Though so maybe it won't go that far. I'm unsure. I don't know. I'm gonna catch a fish. Wait. I was about to give up. <laughs> Gazing carp. A fish with hard, rigid scales. Its beady eyes make it look like it's staring attentively at something in the distance. It's probably not, though. <laughs> Town fish. Uh, go to the egg for plot. The yellow mark was there. Fish. Working on it. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. At least that's what I would be doing. Oh wait, you meant on the world map. I'm an idiot. I am semi-lost. 
Ain't no way there's carp in this water. <laughs> Look, Mila, I'm kind of dumb. Okay? Basic directions do not work on me. I'm just fucking stupid. <laughs> Heaven's egg. The egg religion. Uh. Uh. The egg cult. <laughs> All of our minds scrambled in our sect. This shit's like the land of Moratha from Xenoblade 2. It was way easier to get here than I expected. What is the goddamn setting of this game? <laughs> Homie, I don't know. <laughs> it's everything and everywhere all at once. <laughs> but the research team has done a good job of maintaining this route. We will need to be on our toes from here on out. The inside will be teeming with monsters. <laughs> like, actually, it's a moving target. <laughs> The setting is game. <laughs> this is what's inside that egg, then it must mean... It's like the meteorite you came in. You're right, I'm developing a hypothesis, but I'll keep quiet until I know for sure. Let's keep going. Alright, time to start punching things. He's literally British. This entire character is ruined for me. How dare they put British people in my video game? What's next? They're gonna be Twitch streamers? Probably fruit bats? That I'm friends with? Never. Wouldn't be me. At least it isn't French. <laughs> I was gonna give him a French accent earlier, but then I forgot how to do a French accent because I'm streaming and now I have content brain. There's that. Literally just coming up and beating the shit out of them with three fucking people. I have so much damage on me, bro. I am, I am so hurt. How's the job? I've somehow got shit in Fighter first. Sure, I'll shorten job change cooldown. More. Flame tongue. That's what they used to call me. Back in the day. Now it's just my arms. When do I get more? When do I get to eat? When do I get circuit? When do I get circuit ignition? When do I get to set circuit on fucking fire? Finally, <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. <laughs> uh, probably eat something. Look. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Never. It will be soon. I just need some more job points, then you're fucked. This shit's literally the land of Morotha, but more flowers. That is all it is, and it's all I'm thinking about. I... At first I thought that it had big fucking tits on it, I'm not gonna lie. Like, my first thought was, holy shit, that rack. <laughs> and then I looked closer. <laughs> uh, your brain is there, huh? Look, all I'm saying... All I'm saying is, um... Roserade's a smash. So is Florages. That's all I'm gonna say. Hmm. I think I should sleep. You go ahead and get some. You go ahead and get some rest, then CC. It was glad to have you here for as long as you did. I'm probably gonna wrap up by the next ad break, so you won't be missing too much because it is uh, almost midnight for me. <laughs>
and I don't want to like be streaming too late because I do live with people and I don't want to like be loud and shit past midnight because I think that's like kind of a dick move and I try not to be a dick not a genuine dick <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a I'm a coy an inoffensive dick do no harm with my dickatry. But outside of that, make everyone's lives miserable. In a fun way, though. People gotta have fun with it. They gotta smile at their own misery. Actually, I think that just makes them masochists, but let's not think about that. There's unusual fruit growing on the vines of the wall. Maybe you should try it. It might taste nice. <laughs> Shake the vine gently and a fruit jumps on cat so man as it lands, take a bite of the fruit. It's so sweet and juicy. Your health and stamina have been replenished. No, that's a trap. <laughs> that's a trap. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you do no harm with your dick. <laughs> that one was a little too direct. I take that one back. Don't read it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thought I'd share I went out for snacks specifically for this. I've really enjoyed watching you play this. I'm glad you've had a good time, Mila. I'm glad I can make your day a little brighter because I know you're going through a rough patch. So the fact that me playing this is helping that with that a lot, it makes me very happy. <laughs> uh, and the fact you went out and got snacks specifically is also really sweet. I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad I'm I'm glad I'm popcorn material. I'm glad I'm popcorn material for somebody. And here I thought it was not doing great at the whole streaming thing today. I do not have bombs. I have not unlocked more shoe. Not yet. Not your Swedish fish material. You know, Swedish fish good though. So like, yeah, vegan too. Swedish fish is Funnily enough, it's vegan. There's some weird things out there that are vegan, though. Like, full stop. Like, um... Sour Patch Kids are vegan? Uh, Oreos are vegan. That's a... That's a very surprising thing. But it makes sense, because it was, like, actual cream, it would just melt. So they had to do, like, fake cream for the cookies. Um, what else? Those little cherry pies at the, um, grocery store? Those are also vegan. Just some weird shit's just vegan, dude. Mm. Air is vegan, true. True and real. Yeah. Once I unlock the ability to set circuit on fire, I'm going to be unstoppable. Just watch me. Like once they see what I do to circuit, they're they're just not gonna they're just gonna run away in fear. Until we make meat trees, then I will not be then it will not be vegan. <laughs> Found a Konelu doll. What you mean air? Or you just mean meat? I wonder when the government is going to tax us for air. Technically, that could be a land tax. In a way. <laughs> if we mean the physical space, technically that would be what a land tax is. Because <laughs> it is for the land um, both, you know, on the ground and above it. I don't know. Aerospace is where, like, it, it, it starts to get a little weird. I think until we can have flying houses, we're not going to need to think about that, though. I'll say good 50 years until we are paying for oxygen. At that point, that's when, uh, that's when, um, that's when we do the boogaloo. The electric boogaloo. We'll, we'll just dance in front of the White House. Yeah, that's what it is. Every inhale and exhale is five cents. <laughs> Nah. Well, actually, mm, I mean, if you wanted to literally close off a space for the purpose of its oxygen, you would need you would need to probably pay a land tax for doing that. 
if you wanted to. A land value tax could probably prevent us from paying for oxygen because nobody would want to go out of their way to do that. Because they would pay for the value of the oxygen. And not and they wouldn't like be able to like exploit that and see and rent seek it. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> right now, oxygen is not scarce. So we're fine. <laughs> But I'm saying, if it ever does become scarce, by God, I hope we have a land value tax. Otherwise, we're fucked. <laughs> For now. <laughs> the battle begins. Yeah, so what does the whole... What is the thing you switch between again? Mode change. Manipulate the device to change base attribute to sage or crushing. I don't know what's on right now, though. That's the thing. Hit him with the Falcon Punch. Go, go, go. Build the ladder. Look at my DIY. My DIY was so strong it changed the time of day. <laughs> Yo, dude, when I was out and walking back into the house today. So for my astronomy class, I need to, uh, for my astronomy class, I need to catalog the moon phases. That is part of what I am meant to do right now. When the fuck did I get these seeds? Anyways. <laughs> um, so that's part of like what I need to do for uh, my astronomy class at the moment. And... Um, I, my weather in my area has been like really shitty, so I haven't been able to do it. But when I was coming into the class, this, when I was coming into the home this morning, it had been cloudy all day. And then like, it was just like uncloudy enough for me to see the waxing crescent moon and finally get my first moon phase <laughs> issue. The picture sucks. <laughs> Like, it looks, it doesn't look quite like a crescent. <laughs> like a crescent crescent. So I'm going to show the picture to my professor uh, on class on Thursday, and I'm going to see what he says <laughs> and, and see if he approves of my picture. <laughs> I think he will. What's going to really suck, though, is like a uh, first quarter and third quarter moons. Because... I can do a crescent and a gibbous super easily. I have access to first and third quarter moons on like one night. So if it isn't, if the skies aren't clear during that, I'm kind of fucked. Because <laughs> it's pretty much immediately going to go into more like gibbous territory. Unless it's like a day after, then I might be able to fudge it, but it's still like not great. And full moon, I guess, is also sort of the same way, but it's also like it, it'll be easier to just like, I don't know, see, I, I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Maybe my camera will help me. Maybe it'll give me like a little bit of wiggle room <laughs> with how it's like adding more light to the moon. <laughs> It'll be like, all right, you get a little more. It looks full now. <laughs> crescent moons remind me of bananas. Mm, depending on how much of a crescent it is. The crescent moon we had is like, it's a crescent crescent. But if it, when it gets thicker, that definitely makes things different. The battle begins. The battle begins. You know, I know we literally made a comparison to Rex. I know we made a comparison to Rex earlier, but like the fact he's also British is just adding on to the joke. Even though Rex himself isn't British, he's um Welsh. Oh shit, it's the booby lady. She's she's coming to booby me. And I'm very hurt right now. Gonna I'm gonna drink milk. Croissant. <laughs> Thanks. You're a lifesaver. 
<laughs> Ryan, your lifesaver. <laughs> He's literally just from Xenoblade. But no, that's actually funny as shit. Man is practically a walking Xenoblade reference at this point. It's a plant, Rice. It might even be a fungus. And... Look, you saw what I posted in shitpost, okay? You saw what I said would to you. My standards are in the fucking gutter. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna fight these robots. There we go. Small wind core. My man is down horrendous. <laughs> Look, just because my name is Rise doesn't mean I go upwards. To my perspective, it's rising. <laughs> to you, I'm going straight to the Earth's core. There are lots of boxes. You might find something interesting if you check inside them. Look through the boxes, it will take a while. 30 minutes later. Checked inside several boxes, but didn't find anything useful. Maybe you should keep going. You might find something if you look harder. Yes! <laughs> Commit! <laughs> Commit to the bit! Check every nook and cranny and find an item in a box at the back. You receive two firefly fruits and two natural fibers. You feel sleepy. We'll fix this momentarily. Probably. Is it time to start booking it? I think it's time to start booking it. Do I need to find out how to make bombs? Because I think I have... Why does Mage have job points? I haven't used Mage. I'm using Assault Savant. Why am I getting job points for Mage? Sure. Why not? Do you just get job points for all your classes, regardless of whether you're actually using them or not? If so, I'll just switch back to fighter. The issue is, do I get more if I actually use it, though? That's my question. Because you also have mage equipped. Okay, so I'm right. But I want to punch things, which is also an option. Also, I'm about to die. <laughs> it's a good thing I paused. Hold on. Um. Eat the mushrooms. Okay. But all right, where's my map? Where is their map? I'm just going to use my return bell real quick before I wind up collapsing. Okay. Die on bed. So I'm a little bitch who can't stay up past 12 a.m. Mm. I'm stronger. How the fuck can I not buy? <laughs> I just want to cook meals. Let me cook. Let me cook, please. <laughs> Will you let me cook? I had to catch you so early in the day, but would you mind coming with me? Are we going to the kitchen? Here, it's a bomb recipe. Take it literally. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Here, go do a crime. 
a b -b 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 bomb? Yes, a bomb. And ramp and lamp oil and rope. <laughs> it's all yours, my friend. Just so long as you have enough rubies. Path in behind it. You should be able to break it pretty easily with just one of the simple bombs around you. Take some with you next time out you're traveling. You'll find something interesting I mind if you split it in half. Breaking down walls. You can break down walls at break points. You need a bomb to break down a wall. You can get a bomb by crafting one. You need a bomb to commit terrorism. Fucking Zelda CDI. <laughs> Every opportunity, Mila. Are you taking good care of your flying bug friend? Every opportunity. I have no actual humor. I just reference things. <laughs> okay, first off, that's TNT. Like, I, I know they both explode, but like nobody's called, nobody will look at that and think, oh, a bomb. No, it's fucking TNT. Fuck you. <laughs> Look, just get your arson right, okay? Or your terrorism, however, however we're phrasing it here. S circuit, don't start with me. Don't start with me. Or dynamite. Somebody would call it dynamite, too. Dynamite is also an option. But bomb isn't. TNT, it is a bomb, technically. But nobody would call it a bomb. They would call it dynamite or TNT. I have a request. I know this is sudden, but would you mind bringing an ingredient to the clinic? We'll call a payment for your medical bills, although I may have to keep making such requests. Could you bring two cool leaves? You can find them at your step. Thanks in advance. We'll do that. We'll go flirt again. To make more dress lettuce. Okay. Now let's see here. I would like two cool leaves. Also, I can harvest all of this. And it's raining, so I don't have to do work. Vegetable juice. And these are still coming along. Dress up my lettuce, all nice and pretty. Like so. God, I wish it was raining here. I mean, you're in Brazil. Just go to the Amazon. Durr. It's a rainforest. That's totally how it works, right? El Nino is kicking our ass currently. Bro, we had like a whole like, um... There was a whole like section in our class about like El Nino back when I was in elementary school. But, like, it, it, the way they explained it just, like, didn't really make sense to me as a kid. I just know it is a thing, it is a weather thing, and that is where my knowledge ended. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, don't die-die. Weather thing that keeps getting worse has various effects. I'm just gonna look it up real quick. Hold up. I'm looking up El Nino. The one thing I did remember was that it's fun to say. <laughs> that I did remember. Also, I feel like I clicked something in my audio mixer and I'm worried I might have fucked something up. I don't think I did. I think we're fine. On, let me hit undo. Okay, so literally we were fine. 
All right, that's good. There do appear an El Nina is going to be formed because it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> All right, hold up. We're looking up El Nino. El Nino. All right, let's see here. El Nino and La Nina. Uh, a climate phenomenon that exhibits an irregular quasi-periodic variation in winds and sea surface temperatures over the Pacific Ocean. It affects the climate of much of the tropics and subtropics and has links to teleconnections to higher latitude regions of the world. The warming phase of the sea surface temperature is known as El Nino and the cooling phase is known as La Nina. The southern oscillation is the accompanying a key mechanism of... What? <laughs> This explains nothing. Makes ocean hot. That's what I'm getting from it. Neutral phase. Bro, it's... <laughs> it's so complicated. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's a heat wave then followed by a rain wave okay thank you english that's what i wanted <laughs> that shit was literally written for a meteorologist what the fuck <laughs> oh my god i could find fucking chapters in progress and poverty that made more sense to the average person than that fucking article <laughs> Uh, go. Speed. I am speed. Go. Fly. Alright. Uh, hello, not tied to Kemi. Hmm. Nice plant. Is it yours? Drop off the material she requested? Yes. And no Sonic was in this game. <laughs> hey! Mm. I'm looking as respectfully as I just can. All right, so here. Mm, no, you're not. Shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're here. Yeah, I was just having a little nap. Can I join? I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I was up all night, so I'm a little tired. Can I be the reason you are next time? Hmm. <laughs> In all, in all seriousness, um, yeah, she's hot, but I, <laughs> my criteria for who's going to be the actual waifu is a bit higher than that. <laughs> uh. Uh, Dragon Riz. <laughs> we literally have the emote. And it should be, uh, it, that should be the emote that's accessible to all followers. Oh yeah, I can't fucking do it on OBS because it's cringe. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, you actually got them. Shouldn't I have? No, it's not that. I'm the one who asked for them, so I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised that's all you got a hold of them so easily. I always had to buy these from the merchants, but I'll be asking that. I'll be asking you from now on. This works out cheaper. <laughs> I don't mind if you just need this much. I'll be relying on you then. That's all I need for you. Thank you, Rise. I'll let you get on with your day. Can you be my day? I've been up all night anyway, so I might as well put this to use now. I'm on a roll. What were you doing up all night? Huh? Well, you know, there's always stuff to do, isn't there? I may not look like it, but I'm pretty tough. Don't worry about me. I'm still young. I can handle late nights. Can I put that to the test? Wouldn't you say so? 
<laughs> Man has negative riz, I really do. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way around it. I can't research during practice hours, so nighttime is the only chance I get. Would research. Huh? Did I say that? Wow, maybe I need to get some sleep. I'm not making any sense. Never mind that. Okay, forget I said anything. Now I need to get on with my work, so would you mind leaving me to it? I'll write to you if I need help again. See you later. Hermit's root. <laughs> My any like riz I have is like super spontaneous. <laughs> like sometimes I just get bouts of hard fucking confidence, and I can just belt out like the most direct fucking lines, and then other and then most of the time you get that. <laughs> Actually, you don't even get that. You don't even get anything out of me. You just get me fumbling and acting like an idiot, but making no attempts. This is why I'm going to be single tomorrow. <laughs> Mila put those back. They're undeserved. At least right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, you're still the only one open. Cool. I love it here. <laughs> hey, yo, we, hey, yo, we rose riz buddies. I'm about it. <laughs> it was really funny that you had that emote made, though. Because I had had the idea for the Rizier emote for literal months. So the fact you also had one, I mean, it makes sense because you're literally a rose witch, but it was still funny to me. <laughs> Some plant is in the way. I need something to remove it. I thought I had a bomb. I thought I had acquired bomb. This is bull. I must go to where bomb is needed. No bomb. There was bomb. There was in fact bomb. Bomb existed. The bomb is the bomb was real. The one bomb was real. Holy fuck, I'm getting tired. Eat meat. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> Ryan, you're a lifesaver. Eat raw meat, it's good for you. Red potion. What the fuck was this bombable wall? I know it was here. I'm not Delulu. Not today. Only on Tuesdays. And it's technically Wednesday for me now, so shut up. Nectar cane. Bruh, how the fuck do I make progress? <laughs> Am I missing something? <laughs> Maybe I am Delulu.
God damn, he was determined. You have to know when to stand down. I am genuinely confused at this point. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna hit snooze on this one. Ugh. I will just get us back to where we were at the save point, and that'll probably be where we cap off for the day, because clearly, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Tingle Radish Seeds. Ayo, hey, Majora's Mask reference. I actually heard you dissociate in the moment. You just ran around. <laughs> Literally. Loop on over. There we go. Almost there. Almost to the end, or rather the start. I was about to say, did they follow us? <laughs> there we go. Ugh. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and switch back over here. That's better. And also turn on some music. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and find us somebody to raid. Who do I feel like hitting right now? Who do I feel like decking full force in the face? With my absolutely massive community. Uh. <laughs> oh my. You know what? This is perfect. This is actually perfect. <laughs> so we're gonna. I don't get many chances to raid them. We're gonna raid, uh. Abigail Croc. Who is a uh, crocodile VTuber, and they are very, very funny. They have a, they are, uh, they have a very strong um, American flavor to them, and they are currently doing a just chatting stream where they are doing a dating boot camp. And given my uh, Riz performance earlier, this is actually going to be perfect. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go train up. I gotta go fix myself real quick. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hit start raid on them. I'm sure y'all love them. They are very, very entertaining and very, very funny. By all absolute means. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be it for the night. Uh, as for what's coming on in the rest of the week. Uh, first off, we're going to be... Tomorrow is going to be, we're going to be reattempting the art piece I was doing for Kana because it was an absolute disaster and I was not proud of it in the slightest. So uh, hopefully we, hopefully I can redeem myself tomorrow and also be Valentine's Day. So, but you know, just going to be single guy chilling. <laughs> uh, so that'll be for tomorrow. But the Thursday I'm very excited for because I'm going to be collabing with uh, Nobly and we're going to be playing Kirby or I together and that's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. I have always wanted somebody that could match me in Kirby or I City Trial. So this is going to be a good time. So I'm looking forward to that extra, like a whole lot. That's going to be the highlight of my week right there. This was already a pretty big highlight though. So, you know, maybe they'll be tied. Probably will be tied. <laughs> but yeah, I hope y'all had a good time tonight. Y'all both use Circuit Mill, CC, everybody who dropped by. Hope y'all have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever y'all, wherever the fuck you're doing. And y'all have a good one.